Hi, my name is Lindsay Leber, and I'm a sanitarian here at the health department. I also teach our food safety training courses, and today I'm here to talk to you about how to properly wash your hands, because not washing your hands properly is the number one cause of spreading germs. So today what we're going to go through is how people normally wash their hands, and just showing you that it's not the proper way to do it, and then, then we'll go over how to actually properly wash your hands. So. Right now, what I'm going to do is put this powder on my hands, and this is what we call Glow Germ. When I put it on here, and I use uh, a black light, the UV rays will um, basically light this powder up on my hands. And the reason why I put this on my hands is kind of just to show you what's on our hands throughout the day at any given amount of, or at any point in time. So these are all the germs and pathogens and bacteria that are present on our hands. So got it on my hands and I'll just show you um, what it looks like under the black light. So as you can see my hands you can tell this powder has been glowing and you can see where the bacteria and the pathogens would be on my hands um, on a normally normal daily basis just by touching door handles, shaking people's hands, touching my desk and things like that. Now what I'm going to show you next is how people normally wash their hands and, and then we'll, we'll blacklight my hands afterwards to see how, how well I did wash my hands. Um, so normally people just turn the water on, they run their hands under the water for a little bit, they turn it off, dry their hands possibly if they use a paper towel. A lot of people like to, to dry their hands on their pants which isn't a good thing either. So let's just take a look to see what I missed on my hands and if if what I just did is really a proper way of washing my hands. So, let's take a look. I'm going to have to drop the lights. As you can see, my hands are still glowing. All those spots that you see that are still glowing in the dark, those are spots all that I missed. So this is why we, we teach proper hand washing because just run your hands under water is not good enough. You actually have to do it in a proper way to ensure that it gets done and that you actually eliminate the bacteria and the pathogens on your hand. And you can see too, one place that's missed is always up on the, the wrist area. All right. So just like I said, one place we usually miss is up on the wrist area. Other places that we usually miss are going to be on your palms. So the top part of your hand, the bottom palm, in between your fingers, underneath your fingernails, and also around your fingers, um, fingernails as well. So this is going to be a way I'm going to actually put some more glow germ on my hands. And let's just see how we are supposed to properly wash your hands, the best way to do it. And let's see what my hands look like after I'm done. So the first thing is there's about seven, seven steps into how do you properly wash your hands. The first thing that I look for when I go to wash my hands is number one, how do I get my paper towels? If my paper towels are provided for me in a basket, um, are they provided for me in an automatic fashion like this one where I can just wave my hand and they automatically come out? Or is it something where I have to pump? or crank to get the paper towels out. If it is, I would want to do that step first. If I have to touch anything to get my paper towels, I want to do it first because if I don't, I wash my hands properly and I go and touch this, I just put whatever was on that handle back onto my hand. So we want to make sure we get our paper towels ready. Now if it's automatic and you don't have to get them ready, then it's no big deal. You can start washing your hands. But if you have to touch anything beforehand, get that ready um, before you start washing your hands. So I got it ready. Now the number one thing that I don't want you to do is get it ready, tear it off, and put it under your arm and then start washing your hands because my hands were dirty to begin with. I just tore that paper towel off. What was on my hands is now on this paper towel. Once I wash my hands, I just reintroduce it back onto my hands once I dry them. So my, this is automatic. Don't need to really get my paper towels ready for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and start washing my hands. So one of the, um, the step, the next step is basically turn the water on, and we want to get warm to hot water. And I'm going to basically just rinse my hands first, and then I'm going to apply soap. And the thing here is you want to apply soap and rinse and lather your hands for 15 to 20 seconds. 
making sure that you're getting in those areas that I had said um, the, the germs like to really stay, which is going to be up my arms, on the palms of my hands, the back side, and between my fingers, around my fingernails and up under them. And while I'm doing this, we want to make sure we do it for at least 15 to 20 seconds. That's really going to be the magic number when we know that we've got enough of that bacteria and the pathogen's gone. Okay. It seems like a long time, but it is really not. And once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quick. So the next thing I did, I just um, lathered for 15 to 20 seconds, just rinsed back off with some warm water, and now I'm going to get my paper towels. And you can see that instead of turning off the water, I'm getting my paper towels first. I'm going to dry my hands and then I'm going to use my paper towel to turn off the water. And then I'm going to use this to exit the door. Now there's a lot of times when you go into a facility where say they have an automatic hand dryer. I try and do anything I can to not touch um, the door handle when I exit because you don't have a paper towel to use. So sometimes I'll use my shirt, uh, maybe some toilet paper, anything I can use to get outside that door. Um, if you're working in a restaurant, you should be washing your hands here. If you have to touch the door handle, you have to because once you get back into the main food prep area, you should be re-washing your hands again. So that's basically how to, how to properly wash our hands. And then now let's just take a look at what my hands look like under the black light. Let's just see how good of a job I actually did by washing my hands. So, so as you can see, I don't have any parts glowing. That is just the normal color of my skin. So you can see if you follow these steps properly, you won't have any issues and you'll have proper hand washing. Now I just got a little bit back on my hand from the light. Alright, so those are the steps of how to properly wash your hands and hopefully this helps you um, stop the spread of the germs.